what what how what in my insta story gave you hints that i was gonna go into the grammys oh my my tweet oh i like men that like fashion what the that gotta do with the grammys cardi b has deleted her twitter account after getting in some heated drama with her own fans about not attending this year's grammy awards cardi was nominated for best rap performance at the 64th annual grammys but she was also too busy fighting with trolls on twitter to even care according to multiple reports all of this drama started when a couple of twitter users questioned why cardi wasn't attending this year's ceremony one user wrote i bet your son wouldn't like for you to be on your butt while teasing us fans and never dropping music to which cardi replied i hope your moms die although it got much worse than just her saying that. I mean, these trolls really caused her to just turn on her own fan base. Stick around though to find out what Cardi's final tweet was. Another Twitter user decided to collect a bunch of Cardi's Twitter replies to fans that were calling her out for not dropping an album. In the tweet they write, it's clear Cardi is the problem. She's even problematic with her own fans. I mean, they're your fans. Why are you mad that they're asking for the album? She's scared it's gonna flop, that's why. And after deleting her Twitter, Cardi took to her Instagram page and went live to hopefully clear up why she deleted her Twitter account. In the video she said, I'm doing girl day sh today, right? And I'm chilling and everything, and then I'm going through my Twitter, and I see people in my Twitter, my fans, my own effing fans, talking sh like, oh, practically saying that I'm lazy, and then I was giving hints that I was going to the Grammys. How the F was I giving hints that I'm going to the Grammys when I literally was lasering and bleaching my P word on my Insta story? And that's not what got her canceled, though. What got her canceled on Twitter was her aggressive response to people complaining on Twitter. In the same video, she went on to explain that she was in New York and her kids could be heard in the background. She then proceeded to ask her fans why that would mean that she was hinting at attending this year's Grammys. In a final tweet to her followers on Twitter, Cardi went on off and even attack her own fans. In the tweet she said, I'm deleting my Twitter, but on God, I hate this effing dumb fan base. You got the slow people dragging my kids all cause y'all thought I was going to the Grammys and I didn't? The F? When the F I hinted I was going. Just effing stupid. I can't, I needs to protect myself. And who knows if she will ever come back to the platform, but one thing's for sure, she definitely lost a lot of fans after this little blow up. Lately, a lot of celebrities have been going off on their own fans. I mean, recently you even had Doja Cat threatening that she was quitting music after fans from Paraguay were upset that she didn't show enough love to their country while she was performing in South America. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though, and while you do that, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Trevor Noah makes joke about Will Smith Oscar slap. Wendy Scott says, I usually watch the Grammys, but after the Oscars, I've had it with all award shows I did not watch. Yeah, they are getting more and more boring. I mean, notice how everyone is talking about Will Smith, not the actual winners of any Oscar or Grammy. Arachelli Gonzalez says, Trevor Noah never disappoints. He certainly does not. He is a great comedic voice right now. Michelle McKee says, in an unfortunate situation like that, a little comic relief was right on time. Yeah, and it was respectable and timed perfectly, like you said. Tori Wisdom says, His wit and intellect is profound. I have a lot of respect for Trevor Noah. Couldn't agree more. And that's all the time that we have for today, though, folks. So stay classy, and I'll see you on the next one.